Welcome to Watch, React, and Evaluate Class of 24. Today we're taking a look at Aaron Hampton, who just dropped his top two, which happens to be Alabama and Texas. He is 5'10", 175 pounds, goes to Carthage High School in Carthage, Texas. He is a four-star according to the On3 Industry Rankings, the 21st best wide receiver in the country, and the 22nd best player in the state of Texas. Aaron is down to his final two schools, which is Texas, where he was committed previously, decided to decommit, reopen up his recruitment, and see what else was out there. Now he's down to these final guys, so he said, hey, let's put Alabama in this deal. Let's see what's up with Texas. And the online prediction machine is saying Alabama by 59%. So who knows? Stay tuned to find out where he goes. Aaron, we about to find out if you worthy of being a longhorn and hooking them or roll with the Crimson Tide. You about to get WRE, my man, and ranked. Let's get it. All right, let's get this thing rock and rolling. Let's see what he's talking about. Let's get this thing going, man. Let's see what this dude at. He play offense and defense. Uh, I love it. I ski. Can he score? Put that ball away one. You ain't playing flag. Let's go. <laughs> I'm loving it. What is this? Oh. Hold up, let me go back, man. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, Aaron. I know I ain't seeing what I'm seeing. Bro, you out here walking on the field? No, sir. Look at this. Nah, player, we can't get down with that now. You better go get him. Okay. I don't like you should have finished that tackle. I don't like that at all. I would be honest with you, coach. Ooh. Uh, little catch. Uh, broke his back. Holla. Uh. Uh, this boy human joystick out this thing, man. <laughs> Go ahead, one. Let's get it rocking and rolling. Yes, sir. All right. Little special team. Let's go, baby. You know, like I say, 5'10", 175, not a big dude, but he looks to be strong and powerful, man. And he, and he plays with um, aggression, as you see. Uh, you know, when you look at receivers, again, a little bit undersized when it comes to the average is around six foot. He's standing at 5'10". But like I say, it ain't always the size of the dog in the fight. Sometimes it's the fight in the dog. And there we go. And we see it right here, man. This dude a ball player, bro. Let's go. I'm loving it. Yeah, and, and, and he, this is the kind of receiver you want. This is just the end zone cut of that same play. But this is the kind of receiver you want. You want a guy that can get the ball right now, right on these quick passes, quick game, and can take it 60 yards. Mm, a little post action. Hey, great awareness, bro, right? I love the fact when he goes to catch this ball, he kind of falls with it so he don't get his head knocked off. Hey, quarterback kind of lets you out there to dry a little bit, but you did a great job with mm, good release. Yeah, he tough, man. I thought you was going to score on that one, cuz. I mean, he did a good job with his release. Look at that, stemming this guy out. Quarterback waits a little bit long to throw football, so he, he kind of underthrows him. Quarterback got to get these out quicker and faster. He's got a good speed, so definitely got to get these balls out quickly. Look at this cat. Uh, don't get caught, player. Don't get caught. And I like the fact he plays inside, outside, little slot action. Oh, y'all didn't see what broke this route perfectly. Let me see if I can catch it right there. Right there, right is what they call a corner pose. Kind of stemmed him outside with a jab step. Give him to kind of stop his feet, open his hips a little bit. Slide right up on the knee. Uh, it's so stink. <laughs> he made the referee fall down. Let's go, baby. You got two referees in the same spot, man. What kind of... What kind of officiating y'all got going on in Texas, man? Get out the way, Zebra. Yeah, he, he he just playing with these cats, man. But he got great ball skills. I noticed that. You know, falling down, understanding where he is on the football field. That's great. A little stutter step. Look at that. He like to fall down with it. I guess that gets your feet in. Let's go. Uh, great setup. Oh, good break. 
Let's see what his speed is. This is what I'm trying to find out how fast this dude is. Can he run? Again, he does a great job tracking the ball, getting back to it. Quarterback seems to be consistently late throwing these deep balls down the field, so he has to fight for it. But this is what I love about his game right here. I love the fact you can get him the ball right now, and he knows how to navigate through traffic. Look at this. Usually you try to stay on these up these train track, call them the train track. Sometimes you got to navigate and get on the other track. And that's what he does, man. That's the speed I want to see. Splitting defenders. There you go, baby. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's what I want to see, baby. Dang, what is it? Danger field? Is that what this school is? His ball skills are excellent. Yeah, good job, man. As I say you could tell the team puts the, the, the team puts him or he puts the team on his back. He takes care of everything. He killing these boys. <laughs> he killing them. Well, you take this to the crib. I'm out of here. Let's go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. Let's get into these rankings. All right, Aaron, boy, you a ball out here, and you have put the team on your back. Let's get right into this deal. Size, silver chip, 5'10", 175. That is below average when it comes to uh, power five football. Nothing wrong with that. That's just what it is. Speed, gold chip. Almost gave you a blue chip, but I can't verify how fast you are, how fast you top out. And competition looks decent. Not the greatest, but not the worst. So you do a great job excelling and running away from those guys. But I do want to see how fast you are on the top end. But your quickness, agility, and burst is top end. Effort, blue chip, bro. You doing everything for this team. I watched the entire highlight. You on offense, defense, special teams. You out here drop, dropping cats, laying the wood, getting interceptions, and you doing it all. Trust me, you giving 100% effort. I almost scarred you when you was walking. I almost wanted to give you a gold chip, but I really did. But I ain't going to hold that one against you. Don't do it again, my man. Fundamentals and technique. Gold chip. You do an excellent job when it comes to catching the ball and tracking the ball. That is actually a blue chip status. But also in there, route running, your releases are very, very good and on par with power five. I couldn't give you the blue because in your fundamentals and technique, coach got to see you blocking. There's no blocking on your highlight. I watched the whole thing and I do knock that. For you receivers and running backs, you got to put blocking on your film. Intangibles, gold chip. Bro, let me tell you something. You do an excellent job out here. You make people miss. You can make things happen. And you play all over the field. Like I say, offense, defense, things coaches can't coach. You make them do. You make them miss. You run them over. You catch the ball. You know where you are on the football field. Getting your feet in bounds, falling down. All of those great things, man. Overall, Aaron, you are a gold chip athlete when it comes to Coach Hayes football. Boy, you're going to do some big things out there, boy. And I don't know if you're going to Austin, Texas and hooking with the Longhorns or you're going to Tuscaloosa, Alabama and roll tide. But whatever you do, you're going to be great. So if you're a fan of any of this content that I put out or a fan of any one of those schools, let me get a roll tide or hook them while you hit that notification bell and that subscribe button right over there. And Coach Hayes will catch you at the 50-yard line. Peace.